Hi there, welcome to tutorial 9. So in this one we're going to do the flat plate. So if you download the cases, you should have a directory structure, something like that. So we have here the geometry fluent case 2D, is 2D, okay, two dimensional and fluent case 3D, three dimensional. And here you have meshes and the setting files. Uh, how to set up the case automatically and then your validation data. So uh, first in this video, we'll show you how to read the geometry and the difference between the, the, the 2D and 3D meshes. Okay, so it will be a pseudo 3D, we're going to see. So let's read the mesh and also to remind you how to read the setting files, okay? So this is for people working with older version that cannot read the, the case files that we have with ANSYS 2021. So let's read the meshes, okay, any mesh. So you go read mesh and then here meshes and setting and I will choose this the high ray. Okay, this will be the wall resolving. Okay, so now that we read the mesh here, save and this is the mesh. And look at that, this is a pseudo 3D case in the sense that if I plot the edges, see that I have only one cell in this direction. So this, I like to work like this because to visualize quantities here at these surfaces is easier. Instead, if you have the, the, the 2D case that is a surface, you need to plot the lines and sometimes can be a little bit confusing. So here you can visualize things better. Okay, so it is perfectly equivalent to a 3D case. Okay, nothing changed, but only saying that you have one cell in this direction. Okay, so now that we have the mesh, see that you need to do the whole set setup, but to save that time and it also put in, in every case, there you will find the setting file. So in this case, we have the setting for the high red. And to read that, remember, you read that here for the command line interface here, the text user interface. So if you type file, you move to another submenu and see here that now you have the option read settings. So this is the one that we want to read, read settings. Okay. So this will read the input file. Okay. As you open the mesh here, it will access the, the files here. So you just need to put this name. Okay. So you put the name there settings. Let me see how was that name. I read. And voila. Is reading the settings and automatically configuring the case for you. So you don't need to do anything. Okay, so you can do this using older versions, the NSH file. This is a, let's say, kind of, I don't like to use the word universal, but yeah, <laughs> you have old versions, you, you, you will be able to read it, and then your setting file will set up everything. So maybe in older versions, the setting will give you warnings because they have some configuration that you didn't have in older versions, but should set up the case for you, most of the case. So see that it's setting everything, materials, all boundary conditions, okay? So by the way, you need to have the same no mesh with the same naming convention. Otherwise we'll give you warnings. See that I set in all the objects and see here that we go here, custom fields is set all the custom fields. Okay, it set everything for you. So let me initialize here just to show you, just to emphasize the fact that why I like to do this. So see that when doing post-processing, okay, this is the bottom wall. So see that, okay, let me go here and so this. I like to do, and let me run a couple of iterations also. Okay, so it's putting all the settings. Okay, let me start just to show. Now when I visualize the solution, this is advantage because see that now you can see, okay, <clears throat> you can see directly the quantities in, in the in the in the surfaces. These are than 3D. So for instance, if I go turbulence. I get a better vision of the white plus at the wall. Okay, so this is why I like to, to work like this. So have in mind when setting the case, these two walls that in my case, I call it front and back. Okay, so see that you have back, front and back. You need to put it as a symmetry. Okay, so see in my, in my boundary conditions, uh, you have here back symmetry from symmetry and then the rest is normal, okay? And remember that we only have, and uh, let me go back here. Let me put the outlet. 
we only have one cell in this data action. So this is equivalent to, to D. So I like to work like this just for the matter that you can visualize better. And just to show you the difference, let me open now the case in, in 2D. So we don't have the 2D mesh, we already have the, the 3D, but now I can go open the case 2D that we have just to show you. So, okay, so first it gives me this warning because also you need to, to launch Fluent in 2D mode. So let me launch again another session, okay? But remember to set it 2D, okay? So in the other case, it's 3D. Even if you have one cell, you need to set that case as a, as a 3D. Now this 2D mesh, let me go here and let me launch, okay? So at this point, it's up to you when you do your geometry, everything. One thing that is also advisable when you do this extrusion, just put one, this extrusion, a unit of one. So when you compute all the forces, everything is per unit death, okay? Per unit death is recommended, but you can do whatever you want. But remember that as you choose something different from one, you will need to scale with that, with that death to, to get the, the, the reference values. So, let me read the case to the, okay, any of the cases. So when we read this geometry, see that now if we plot the mesh, okay, so see that here we don't have access to that third dimension. You get this. So looking at the values at the wall is a little bit tricky. Let me show you, okay. So let me run a, a couple of iterations so you see that. Okay, so if I go here now, post processing, and I want I put here visualize everything, it's 2D, okay? It's constrained to this XY plane, okay? So you, you cannot rotate. So to see whatever you have here, okay, for instance, you have the bottom, okay? So see that is you want to see Y plus there, and I put it there. Okay, it's not very easy to, to visualize this, okay? So as you compare, you, you have it there, but it's not very easy. As you compare with the 3D, see that you have that, and it's better to visualize in the surfaces. So in this case, you will need to go here in plots, X, Y plot, and plot that quantity. Let me go here, and you put that plot that quantity there, and you have it like this, okay? So it's up to you, okay? In this case, in the, in the next video, we show how to run the guided demonstration, and I will run the 3D case, but the principle is exactly the same for the process and everything you set in the same way you, you will set here the custom fields, all the XY plots and monitors and everything. So that's all for this video. Thanks for your attention. Bye.